Um, so, we are going to revisit the world of Read Only Memories. Um, the previous game in this series um, is a, a point and click. It's a very odd point and click. Um, because it has this one annoying achievement where you have to uh, not take any damage, <laughs> which makes it a very strange point and click game. And also beat the final boss in an arcade machine, which, yeah. So, aside from those, it was a good story. Um, and mid boss are back with. Uh, another installment in the universe. Um, this one's published by Chorus Worldwide Games, who have published quite a few um, games that I've I've played, including Frank and Drake, Vani Lake, Coffee Talk Two, Space for the Unbound. Uh, they've got the the other ones in the uh, Vani Lake series: Bunsen Knights and Mothman. Um, they also did When the Past Was Around, The Original Coffee Talk, The Adventures of Bertram Fiddle, all kinds of stuff. Um, so yeah, um, they're back with Read Only Memories Neurodiver, which came out on the 16th of May 2024. It's an ID at Xbox game. Thank you very much to ID at Xbox for the code for streaming this game. Uh, ES88 is an esper tasked with capturing golden butterfly, psychic entity hiding in the memories of others. Players ES88 and join her cyborg collective gate and the creature known as a neurodiver to help repair the memories golden has damaged and stop them in their track in this Psy, spelt with a P-S-Y, by adventure. So we are a psychic agent. Uh, we take on the role of ES88, a young esper employed by Minerva, a powerful organization specializing in information science, neurotechnology, and extrasensory phenomenon. She's been tasked with tracking down Golden Butterfly, a mysterious psychic entity hiding in and fragmenting the memories of Neo San Francisco's citizens. Who are they? Why are they doing this? And how will you stop them? The Neurodiver is a bioengineered psychic creature made to assist boosting an Esper's natural abilities. With its help, you're able to collect clues and thoughts in your subject's memories in an effort to piece together distorted fragments inside them, pushing Gold Butterfly out. Read Only Memories Neurodiver is a return to the vibrant sci fi world of near San Francisco from 2064 Read Only Memories with a whole new story and a whole new cast of characters. It's an adventure that newcomers can easily dive into, but those familiar with the original game might notice a lot of familiar faces making a comeback. Um, and the uh, soundtrack is inspired by the OPNA slash YM2608 sounds of the PC8801 and PC9801 series of computers brought to you by Scarlet Moon composer and sound designer Ken Coda Snyder. Um, Long live the power of FM sound. So this one is £12.79 pence or $14.99. Um, it was 10% off, but that was at launch, and we are now 10 days after that launch. Um, so. Oh, yeah, the first game you were a journalist and you met a sapient machine called Turing and then tried to figure out who killed um, his inventor and, and various other bits and bobs. Um, it, was a, it, was a, it was a really good story. I played it in 2019. No, 2018. Started it in 2018, played a bit, then... I 
had a break and came back in 2019. Um, played a whole chunk and then gave up on the last two achievements. <laughs> I probably have saved games in the right place, to be fair, because I'm organized like that. But yeah, so there are 12 achievements in Read Only Memories Neurodiver, all of which are achievable. Um, it's available on Steam, Switch, PS PS5 and Xbox. Um, And the price uh, seems to be consistent across all platforms. There is a physical collector's and standard edition with tees and a 2264 physical reprint available to pre-order. Interesting. Um, so yeah, what else can I tell you? Uh, Midpass is based in the US. Um, And yeah, I don't know whether this, this is currently billed as a visual novel, but I don't know whether it's going to be more like a point and click, like the original game. Um, so yeah, why don't we find the thing and oops, wrong button. I'll load it up and see. It has gorgeous art. You can see. Um, I have my team, and I did check that my mic was working, lol, um, so yeah. Cursor settings, English, and uh, just touch the music a little bit. Okay, English, please. Minerva Campus, uh, Nuevo Cerrito, CA. November 26, 2068. Oh, so four years after. Just. Of Commons. Ah, okay. This is the Neurodiver's user manual. Oops. It's now. It's voiced. Cool. Which is great. Um. Manual putting it lightly, though, since a lot of it is works in theory. But I need to memorize, well, basically all of it to prepare for my Neurodiver certification exam tomorrow. I've already used the Neurodiver in a handful of controlled tests with other espers. But I won't have authorization for any real-world use until I get this exam out of the way. So, I gotta power through this. Lorp. Inventory currently has nothing. Quest log currently has nothing. I'm thinking this might be a point and click as opposed to a um I'd love to watch some TV right now. But I need novel. to focus on memorizing this manual. Just based on the fact that I have an inventory, a quest log, and a cursor. I'd love to watch There are so I'd many screens. The neurodiver. Most people expect a computer, but they're a fully organic life. Wow. Orp. So cute. And they're very cute. Easily flattered. 
Ugh, I hate reading. I guess highly classified documentation for cutting edge experimental biotech isn't usually turned into an audiobook. The Neurodiver. Yep, that's you. The Neurodiver is an artificially created life form imbued with psychic abilities similar to those of human aspers. In Asper! More. <laughs> yes, that's me. And that spurt can create a psychic link between any intelligent life form, the host. So this is like a cyberpunk-esque universe. This, there was some body modification going on in the previous game, if I remember rightly. Via the Neurodiver to enhance their ability to read the memories of the host. <sighs> Just resting my eyes. <laughs> I'll keep reading in a second. I can't leave until I've memorized this stupid manual. Ugh. Okay, gotta stay focused. The Neurodiver also allows for the defragmentation of the host's memories. Should any fragmentation exist via any of the following means. Neurological disease, such as Alzheimer's disease, see Appendix 14 for examples, Physical trauma, such as concussion, see Appendix 15, for examples. Psychological trauma, blah, 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 blah. The Neurodiver also shows promise in reversing psychic trauma, as inflicted by Esper Psionics. However, due to the wide variety and mutability of Esper Psionic powers, there's only anecdotal evidence at this time. Uh. Hey, BS88. Gate! Sorry to make you come in over the weekend. Wherever the Neurodiver is, I go. That well, I appreciate it. And the Neurodiver does too. Yep. I did fine on the field test the other day. But trying to cram all of these facts into my head for the written exam is making my head hurt. You'll get it. You just need to focus on why you're doing this in the first place. Why am I doing this? I sort of have to do it, Gate. It's my job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's a reason you're here at Minerva. And a reason you want to become a better Esper by using the Neurodiver. Why I want to become a better Esper? To help people. To help people. With the Neurodiver, we can help people recover memories they lost. Memories of important events or loved ones. It's kind of idealistic. But I hope, with the Neurodiver, I can help someone better remember someone or something dear to them. Some kind of psychic therapist, then. I guess you can call it that, sure. Well, no matter what you call it, you're doing it to help others. That seems like the right reason to me. Thanks, Kate. Anytime, ES88. Actually, while you have a little diver out, I was wondering if you could do a favor for a friend. Friend? Great hulking person behind. Whoa, he's huge. He's huge. <laughs> huge ego, maybe. This is Crow. <laughs> wow, a real bona fide Esper. Thought you guys were just uh, some kind of conspiracy theory. Uh. Sorry, I've never seen an Asper up close before. I heard you all had golden eyes, but... Uh... I guess they're a dead giveaway. Kind of like how I know you're a hybrid just by looking at you. <laughs> Touché. Crow, this is ES-88, our resident psychic therapist and neurodiver expert. Wait, what? 
She'll be diving into your memory to help you recover what you've forgotten. That's, uh... That's some intro, Gate! I wouldn't say it if it wasn't true. ES-88 is the best narrow diver user at Minerva. Which is to say, the world. And she was just saying how she hopes to use the Neurodiver to help people remember what they've lost. I was indeed. <laughs> this is more of a problem with something I found, but I can't remember why I had it. Oh, hear that, ES-88? A psychic mystery. Can I just, um... Gade, can we talk for one sec? Privately. Sure. One sec, Crow. Take your time. Gate, who is this guy? Just an old buddy of mine from the war. You mean the war during which you were a soulless machine programmed to kill? Hey, just because I was a literal killing machine doesn't mean I didn't make friends. <laughs> well, whatever. If I mess this up, I could really do some damage to your friend's psyche. Relax. Crow is tough as nails. Some of the stuff he pulled off in the war, it would be legendary if it wasn't all completely top secret. Look at him. He's built to withstand anything. Mm hmm. Physical power is one thing. We're talking about his mind here. Potential psychic trauma. Relax. He already knows the risks, and he's fine with it. Right, Crow? That's true. Gate already gave me the rundown. I'm up for it, really. I mean, if you understand the risks, then... I guess it's okay. Gate pretty much recited the manual on the way here. So, I can say I have an exhaustive knowledge of the risks. You have this whole manual memorized? Of course. Anyone who works with the Neurodiver is required to read it. It helps that you actually like to read. And besides, I'll be here watching over you both during the dive in case anything goes wrong. If anything starts looking weird, I can pull you both out with the press of a button. Or... Look at that. The Neurodiver's raring to go, too. Now, the Nerudai was going both? What about me? What am I, chopped liver? Okay. Okay. I can do this. That's right. So, we can get started? <laughs> Excuse me. Again, disclaimer, yawning, not game. I'm just always tired. Yes. First things first, tell me what memory specifically you're hoping to recover. Sure. It's uh, actually something that happened about 10 years ago, just after the war ended. Since our tenure as soldiers was over, some friends of mine and I were doing some odd jobs to get some quick cash here and there. Our last job was selling some information to a buyer in Busan. The details are really fuzzy, but uh, I do remember that for some reason, I decided to give my share of the payout to my friends. But then they claimed that I had stolen all of it for myself. I'll admit that isn't out of character for me, but I wouldn't do that to those guys. And on top of that, I didn't have any trace of any kind of money like that. Anywhere. Not in any of my accounts. So you think they took all of it for themselves and tried to cut you out? That's what I assumed, yeah. It ended up being a real sore spot between us all. And we actually haven't spoken since. For... for ten years? What made you question it now? Well, I was cleaning out my closet and found the jacket I was wearing that night. So you remember the clothes you were wearing, but not any details of what happened? Weird, right? But it gets weirder. 
found this in one of the pockets. Go with the cat toy? It's a cat toy? I don't have a cat. Oh, but you want one! You're allocating a ton of brain activity to it! Maybe Ixnail the Ivory Bay. Right. Sorry. Anyway, take a look at this. The information I was selling? This is it, on this chip here. But I remember nearly trading this thing to the buyer for the money. And giving that money, all of it, to my friends. But if you have it here with you, that obviously didn't happen how you remember it. What do you think, Psychic Therapist ES88? You think you can help Crow work through his broken friendships? That does sound like a fragmented memory. If you're ready, Crow, we can start the dive. Sure. What do I have to do? First, lift up your sleeve so the Neurodiver can have some skin contact with your arm. Then, stay still and try to relax. Hmm. Okay. All right. Let's get the Neurodiver out of its capsule. Once it makes contact, you're going to feel something... It sort of looks like a hand mated with some sort of squid. Okay, no, Minerva profile name. Whoop. Alias Crow, birthday September 16th. Blood type something. Oh! Neurodiver, birthday May 16th. Blood type artificial. <laughs> Don't forget your catchphrase, ES88. My... What? You know, that cool catchphrase you say whenever you start a dive. Oh, um... Sound confident. It's time to d -d 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 dive <laughs> What was with that stutter? No, I was trying to... Never mind. Never mind. Start the dive. Crow's friends. Boost and bloom. Uh, oh. hey guys. Wait. Crow? Crow? What? They don't recognize you. This was the first night they saw me after I became a hybrid. Finally cashed in some earnings from the war. Got it. You certainly made a... a big change. <laughs> What's the matter, Hulk? Angry that the run is finally your size? I just think he looks like... Like what? He looks like... He looks like a... He looks kind of like a freak, if you gotta know. Hey, 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 no backseat driving! Uh, uh diving. <laughs> I'll do the talking for you, <coughs> what was going through your mind at the time. So, you're piloting my body through this whole thing? That's right. Just sit back and relax while I read your memories. I look better than you, asshole. Why, you 
little. What? <laughs> that did feel kind of good to say. <laughs> right. It is good to see you. Really. That's what you meant, right, Hawk? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What are we drinking? Hey. Now the kids here, we can order the special. Right. Oh, 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 right, right, right. Hey. Take a look at this, Crow. It says New Year's special. Celebrate unification with the Manseju cocktail. Uh, what's man say? I think it's pronounced more like Manse. That's what I say. Man say. <laughs> sure. Anyway, this it is means. This the same bar from the first game. Oh, you know. Bonsai, salute. Life, we did just get out of a war, you know. Folks feel like celebrating. Mm. Did you call me here just to read a poster for you? <laughs> I wouldn't put it past these guys. Hey, you're lucky we invited you out at all. Whoa, whoa. That's enough, Hulk. Um, go ahead and order a round of those, um, Monse juice, Crow. Then we can get to business. Got New Year's special flyer. Ooh. Baby fragment. Drink baby here instead of a bartender. Okay. Interesting. Check out the bar. Cool. Okay. Last time I played darts, I put more holes in the surrounding wall than the dartboard. It's nighttime, but you can barely tell with all the lights on outside. Photos of various celebrities pushing various brands of alcohol. I could go for a drink. Nothing out of the ordinary so far. I guess I should go order those drinks. What are they kicking around? The hack sack? Oh. It's the same cat toy thing that Crow brought to Minerva! You want in on this? Uh, sorry? Come on, I'll play you for a round of drinks. Okay, what do I do? It's Jeggy Chaggy. When I kick the Jeggy to you, kick it back without letting it drop. The Jeggy? Jaggy before, huh? Oh, so that's what it's called. What? Right. How could I have forgotten that? This whole memory's pretty rough. There's some kind of ambient psychic signature that I can't put my finger on. Uh, what? Don't worry. Once I fix all of the fragments with the neurodiver, you'll remember this night like it was yesterday. Seems like I just scored a free drink then. Okay, let's play. All right. Uh, show off and win, obviously. Oh, you got me! So all that what's-a-jeggy stuff. You were bluffing, huh? 
Are you some kind of jaggy choggy shark? Honestly, I've never played before. Well, either way, seems like I owe you a drink. What are you having? I'll have whatever you're having. Oh! <sighs> Where's our drinks, Crow? We're dying over here. Hulk, we're not supposed to be making a scene. Okay, but where are our drinks? Crow! So you're already here with some friends, huh? Yeah, I, uh, I guess I am, actually. Sorry. It's no problem, really. I was actually on my way out before I saw you. Why don't you take this jeggy as a souvenir? Is this your phone number? <laughs> Why don't you try it later and find out? <laughs> I'll beat you next time. <laughs> you got that? Wow, Crow is way smoother with random bar encounters than I could ever hope to be. Got a jeggy. Oh, huh. I guess 2058 was the year of the tiger. <laughs> They're so cute and chubby. Kinda a weird looking face though. Where's the nose? This smug little tiger is pushing a New Year's drink special. Hmm. We're just it's ignoring the giant baby. The tiger will join you for the drink special though. There's some kind of New Year's celebration playing on the TV. Wow, it's a whole different scale than something we'd have in Neo SF. Manse! That's a pretty impressive sound system, right? I mean, it looks hey, impressive Akash. anyway. What are they doing using such an old computer? Oh, right, this was 10 years ago. Let's see what kind of liquor they have here. Oh, who am I kidding? I don't know anything about liquor. It all looks really fancy, though. I bet all the cheap liquor is hidden in there. Wow, look at that amazing music selection. It's what I assume. I know as much about music as I do about booze. Wow, a memory fragment. Just like in the manual. What? Why do I remember a giant baby working at the bar? Well, when a fragment occurs, your brain tries its best to make a complete memory by filling the void with something else. There's not a lot of rhyme or reason to what goes where, but usually it'll be something that was emotionally striking. Emotionally striking? Your memories depend on emotional connections to stay in your head. The stronger the connection, the stronger the memory fragment. I guess you have a soft spot for kittens and babies. Who would have thought? Anyway, repairing these issues is exactly what the Neurodiver does best. We'll get to it then. Numbness? Nausea? Peace bump bird toast? Uh, no. I'm good. Four of these Monseju cocktails. Hmm? Please? Uh-uh. You have to order it correctly. With spirit. Spirit? Really? Monse! Monse! You're saying I gotta throw my arms over my head to get my drinks. 
We're celebrating, kid. Get in the spirit of things. I just came out the war. Hi, Jesse. Manse! Manse! Okay, okay fine. fine. Manse! Keep going. Excuse me? Uh-uh. You wanted four drinks, right? Manse! Manse? Manse! Manse! Great day, Manse! <laughs> I told you he'd get him to do it. What? They put you up to all that, didn't they? They're always doing stupid pranks like this. Ugh, we got a guy in the psionics lab like that. It's the worst. Here's your drinks. They're already on the old guy. Struggle side. jug! I know, right? <laughs> Which old guy? Got four months of you cocktails. Tell your friend that I'm off in a couple hours, okay? Uh, sure. Monse! Monse! Here you go, Sparrow. Thanks, Crow. You certainly were enthusiastic out there. Now, this one's for you. Haha. <laughs> thanks, Crow. <laughs> and, um, thanks for the, um, you know, entertainment. It's reminded me of Watchmen. Here, Hawk. <laughs> thanks, kid. Glad to see you could still take a joke. Kanbei. Kanbei! <laughs> uh, what, what's that one mean again? Cheers, Hulk. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Kanbei! You know, you never did get the hang of Korean. Well, excuse me if I was too busy keeping your asses alive to crack open a book. Crow's the one who acclimated the best of all of us. Are you going to miss it here, Crow? I think I'll miss it here. I don't miss the war for sure, but I was getting used to the place. Same here. It's been a nice change of scenery, despite everything. <laughs> you two have always been so sentimental. Hey, this is where we all met, after all. Even if it was. Manze! Manze! <laughs> Someone else ordered the special, sounds like. One say. Whoa! I think I just felt something shift in the memory. Oh, hey, that's a... Oh, shut it. Do you know the guy who just ordered something? That's the guy we're making the deal with. Well, excuse me if I didn't want y'all missing him. Hulk, what did I just say? So, what's the plan? To find information. Um, damn. Which one of us is holding it, Chip? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, here. <laughs> it's, uh, uh... What is this thing again, Hulk? Um... You're asking me? It's a Jeggy, right? Oh, how did you know, Crow? We've now got two Jeggies they got mixed up. I, uh... Someone by the darts area gave me one. Interesting. Well, this one is a little different. Sparrow had the idea to hide the information chip in here, to keep the handoff from looking too conspicuous. You're, you're making it conspicuous by opening it. Oh, right. So that's it. Give this Jeggy to that guy who just walked in. Yep, and he's gonna give us a big pile of money. Simple a deal as they come. It looks like he's taking a seat up by the darts. Yep, you got this, Crow. I got this? You're probably the only one in the right state of mind to pull this off right now. State of mind? I mean, uh, we, 
you've had a few rounds before you came here, Crow. And besides, with your new modifications, you're easily the most intimidating of the four of us now. Hey, 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 hey! What's that supposed to mean? I'm just as intimidating as Crow. Way more! <laughs> even if you were, you're not even half as sober. Here, Crow. We got another jeggy. Head out once you sit down with the binder. We'll meet you later at the e Yeah, so anyone else wanting to give them the wrong jeggy because that I feel like that's what happens. Fix the tree fragment. Yeah, this is definitely a point and click. There is a tree. Th th there is a tree. Another fragment! This is what? the second time a child has come up in a fragment for you. Crow, you really take a shine to kids, huh? I... I bet you used your cat-like reflexes to swat the kite out of the tree for him. I did help him, yeah. Didn't even thank me, just ran off. Guess I scared him away. Scared of you? But you're so fuzzy wuzzy. Can we get back to fixing my mind here, please? Right, sorry. I think it was. Bro? What? Who the hell is that? At the table there. Wait, you mean you still don't remember? Even though the fragment is fixed? I remember sitting at the table for sure, but... Are you okay? Are you sure you want to keep going? Yeah, yeah. Let's get to the bottom of this. I don't like this. I'd better keep my guard up. I'm guessing, Esper, that mind manipulated Crow took the wrong juju thingy, so everyone thinks everyone screwed everyone else. But manipulated into thinking that he'd given the money to his friends, which would be why he didn't have money. I do need a very short pause though, so we're just gonna run a quick um, and I'll be back in a few minutes and then we can figure out what's going on here. Hey, yeah, yeah. Let me guess. You'd like to sit here, yes? How? How did I know what you were going to ask? Well, Crow, I know plenty of things. Oh, lovely. I have your interest, and you have the information I want. Come, have a seat. Do I know you? How do you know my name? Oh, no, no. But I know plenty of things about you, Crow. Okay. Do you know what an Esper is, Crow? Never heard of it. You should never deprive yourself of education, Crow. <laughs> you never know when you might need that little bit of information. I'm just here to make a sale. That's it. School's out for summer. An Esper is an individual who possesses psychic abilities. Each one unique. Each one varying in power level. Espers, as we know them, are the result of mutations. Randomly occurring. With some Espers not even understanding the extent of their power. But there have been many advances in the study of Espers done in secret. 
There's now information on how to produce them. And that crow is the information you're going to give me tonight. Give nothing, pal. This is a sale. I'm happy to walk if you disagree. Uh-uh. I said what I meant, crow. You're gonna give me that information. And why would I do that? Because I'm an esper myself, crow. Granted, not a true one. I was hybridized in an attempt to gain some esper powers. Well, bully for you. No interrupting my monologue! <clears throat> the information you've concealed in that jeggy, cute trick, by the way, will allow me to realize my full potential. That said, even in my current state, I do have enough power to make you believe that we had an exchange as planned. When in fact, you simply gave me the information for free. All right, this is a big weird hassle. I'm out. <laughs> it's already done, Crow. I've been writing you a new set of memories about this night for our entire conversation. It's amazing how much of our reality is shaped by our memories of it. Mm. Don't know why I'm even telling you all this. It's not as if you'll remember it. Good night, Crow. <laughs> what? Whoa! What's happening? He really did start to rewrite your memory. But he's, uh, pretty bad at it. No wonder your memory is so messed up. <sighs> the link with the Neurodiver is destabilizing. You two okay? I'm fine. Crow? I feel like I have brain freeze, but yeah. Seems like I and my mind are still in one piece. Did you end the dive gate? From out here? The neurodiver was looking a little sick. So I gently pulled them off and put them back in the capsule to rest. So... Did you get to the bottom of Crow's information exchange? It wasn't so much an exchange as a psychic mugging. That idiot. After all that posturing, he must have taken the wrong jeggy in my other pocket. Do you think he got to the old birds too? It explains their half of the story not matching mine. Definitely. His powers seemed pretty crude, but they obviously were effective if it worked on you for so long. Well, at least this information is worth something, right? The stuff we were going to sell for all that money. Well, uh... Creating an Esper. Seems like some pretty serious tech, right? Yeah, but it's been ten years, remember? Since then, Minerva's basically perfected the science behind Espers. In fact, the information you have is likely the predecessor to the Neurodiver. It's the first completely synthetic Esper, you know? If that information was in the back of your closet for 10 years, it sounds like you did Minerva a favor and kept it from leaking to our competitors for all that time. Huh. Figures. Well, it wasn't the information I was after in the first place. I'm gonna see if I can get in contact with the old birds. They probably won't believe what I tell them, so I hope you don't mind if I send them your way to get their memory set straight. I'd be happy to help. It feels like I'm really getting the hang of this thing now. I knew some field work was what you needed. Thanks for being our guinea pig, Crow. So, we're square after that poker game? <laughs> you bet. Poker! See you two around. What now, US-88? Back to the study grind. No, you were right, Gate. Doing a real dive made me feel a lot better about this test. Well, it's not exactly Busan, but 
you want to go down the street for some drinks. Let's do it! I could really use something sugary after expending all of that mental energy. We'll need to bring the Neuron Diver. I... guess we have to. We aren't really supposed to leave it alone. It'll be fine. We'll just say it's an exotic fish or something. Let's... pick a bar on the darker, louder side, then. I'm liking this so far. It's definitely point and click. Hopefully there's not any annoying don't die. Two years later. Interesting. Chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, chapter 4, chapter 5. Add spoiled milk. Secret, secret. Okay. Nova Campus. El Nuevo Cerrito. California. October 28th, 2070. Okay, I'm Luna Cruz de la Vega. 23 years old. I work at Minerva, an information technology company based just outside of Neo San Francisco. Oh yeah, it might sound a little strange, but I'm gifted with powers of extrasensory perception. In other words, I'm an Esper. At work, I'm known as Esper 8801, or ES88 for short. We work on lots of top secret stuff there, and I get to use my psychic powers every day. Just before the alarm as usual. Time to get ready for work. Let's see how the Neurodiver is doing today. Neurodiver. The Neurodiver is one of those top secret work things I was talking about. They were engineered at Minerva to be a partner to Esper's by enhancing our abilities. Right now, I'm the only Esper bonded to and working with the Neurodiver. We've been partners for about three years now. Our tasks mostly involve gathering information directly from people's minds. Are you reading my mind again? Florp. You know I love working with you, Neurodiver. <laughs> I just wish that our assignments were a little more exciting. Ah, uh, you've jinxed it now. Florp. I mean, I want the world to see your potential. Oh, and mine too. We can do so much good, but right now we barely ever leave campus. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. I guess Gate isn't here yet. <coughs> Wait for her on the balcony. Got the neurodiver. Pre-furnished. Oh, that's 
So, Sofa's firmness can be adjusted and it's self-heating for cold days. Oh, can I get one of them? The San Francisco Bay. For corporate housing, we really do have some gorgeous views. Doing pretty well for being on a west facing balcony. <laughs> of course, it helps that they genetically alter them to need less sun. The Golden Gate Bridge! I never understood why they call it golden if it's actually red. It's always so foggy over in the OSF. I'll take living in sunny East Bay over that fog zone anytime. The Bay Bridge! The last time I used that bridge was when I moved here to start this job. That was over three years ago. Maybe I need to get out more. And your office buildings. Gate must be here by now, right? <coughs> Sorry. I'll check the door. Gate. Recognize gate. Oh, good morning, EOS 88. Sorry, I'm just finishing up. The whole manga? You finished already? What can I say? You have great taste. I can see why you love Yukino so much. <laughs> thank, you. Uh, thank you. Do you want the next one? Yes, please. Trade me. Great. Are you ready to get going? You bet. So, Gate, are you excited for work today? The days are always the same. Protect the Neurodiver, eat lunch, make sure you don't get into any trouble. Never do anything remotely exciting enough to get into trouble. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you have any fun plans for tonight? Huh. I'll probably read Mothman 1966 until bedtime. Why? Do you have any fun plans? That's another game published by Chorus Worldwide. Me? No. I'm not doing anything. I might go out tonight, but I don't like going out alone. I think friends really add to the atmosphere. I'm not sure who would want to go, though. I asked Trace once, but she wanted to stay in and watch movies, so we did that instead. Do you want me to go out with you? <laughs> if you're free? <laughs> we'll see. I have to ask. I love the facial expressions. Have you ever taken a break at work? There's never time to slack off at Minerva. But I'm sure you get tiny breaks between missions. I like to use that time to catch up on Minerva's policies. They have interesting pamphlets in the cafeteria. Mm. That's not very fun at all. What about you? Have you ever taken a break? Well, don't tell anyone, but sometimes, when I'm bored, I like to read the minds of co-workers that walk past my desk. But they never stay for long, so I can only see so much. ES-88, that's an invasion of privacy. But it started happening back when I first got here. People's memories just came to me. I didn't want to. But now...
now it's kind of comforting. I never tell anyone secrets. Well, except to you, if you want to hear one. <sighs> okay. You can tell me one story. Okay, there were these one raccoons. Time, I saw a memory of someone walking home from the supermarket near Got here. to go with them with these raccoons. They stopped and knelt down when they thought they saw a very large cat bumbling towards them. But it wasn't a cat. It was a raccoon! And there were more! A bunch of them! They wanted the potato salad! Uh, is this what you do with all your free time? No, I swear. In the past few years, I've only had a handful of truly dull days. And I like that about Minerva. There's adventure around every corner, and as an Esper, I always feel needed. It's nice. Uh, I just wish I could do something more exhilarating. Espers are the most important assets to Minerva. That's why I was assigned to the Neurodiver when it was made. Do you think the job will ever get dangerous? <laughs> I'm worried I won't be able to protect you. <laughs> it's not your job. <coughs> You focus on handling the Neurodiver, and I'll focus on protecting it. I don't handle the Neurodiver. I work with them. Uh, I'll go check in with Lucy. I hope she has something fun for me this time. I'm going to the commons. Come get me if the mission involves leaving Minerva. There's no threat to the Neurodiver on campus. I think you can handle it. I know I can. I say it must be November. Okay, so we've got North Floor, South Horn, Second Floor Elevator, a tree, and Co Tree. Ooh, trace. My head being shaped like these leaves. Oh, that's mean. took all the chocolates and sour candies might well not even have the bowl here at all now yeah just don't ask me what does it's still a few days away card. Good morning, ES88. Checking for assignments. You have one. One. Mission requested by Senior Esper, Trace. A breach in security has been identified in the Psionics Research Lab. Level urgent. Wow. Well, it has to be pretty serious if Trace labeled it urgent. The Psionics Research Lab is located down the right corridor. 
go down the hallway, the North Hall, and past the vending machine. If you see the coffee maker, you've gone too far. Go back, and it's the hallway on the right. It'll have the Psionics Research Lab written on the top. You're very thorough, Lucy. As always, I'll head there now. Remember, the right corridor. Have a wonderful Minerva day. I wonder what secrets I'll be working on today. The security breach sounds really intense, but I know we can take it. Right, Neurodiver? I won't let Trace down. I'm doing that because I want to go down the south corridor, if I can. Um. Our neural diver expert is here. Hi, Trace. That's me. So, what's going on? Something about a breach in security? <sighs> Something like that. Harold can't log into his Minerva account. He says he's been hacked, but I think there's more to this. What do you mean? Don't tell him I said. But I tried reading his memory and I was blocked out. I never seen this before. It felt like a direct psychic attack. Hmm, that sounds serious. It is. Cuídate, ¿entiendes? I'll be safe. I promise. We can do this without you and the neural diver. I know you can figure this out. Thanks, Trace. I promise I'll do my best. Mm -hmm. I know you will. I will let you start then. <clears throat> Report back when you finish. Okay. Dot dot dot. Welcome. Uh, hey there, Harold. Speaking. <clears throat> yes, eighty-eight at your service. And this is the neurodiver. Oh, say hello. Uh, hello, ES-88, and hello, Neurodiver. Uh. Say, are uh, either of you into Halloween? Sure. I love candy and wearing fun costumes. What about scares and pranks? No. Uh, no. Uh, anyway... Trace told me you had an issue logging in. Yeah, I uh, can't remember my password. Huh, interesting. Could it really be a psychic attack like Trace said? Oh, w what? Uh-oh. What do you mean, psychic attack? Is something wrong with my brain? I thought I just forgot it, but I'm being attacked. What will they take from me next? Nothing, I promise. I'll take care of it, no problem. Oh, thank you for helping me. It's what I'm here for. As a reward, can I 
Offer you some candy? Really? Thanks. You know, us espers, we love anything sugary. Right. Just reach out and grab one from the bowl on my desk. Okay. I don't trust you. But apparently it's the only thing I can do. Oh. What? Aren't you scared? Well, not really. It's just a toy. Uh, but it's a classic Halloween trick. It gets everyone. Not me. Mm, I guess not me. Why don't we focus on recovering your password? What did you do last before realizing you forgot it? Well, I was doing my monthly task of polishing the tanks in the labs. And then, when I went back to my desk, poof, gone. Hmm. <sighs> okay, Harold. Stay still. Uh... What? I'm going to link the Neurodiver to you. It might feel a little cold. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, God! Cold! Now, let's get started. I am Luna Cruz de la Vega, Psychic Detective! What? It's a little bit Phoenix right there. Oh my god. Great ghosts! Where are we? We haven't gone anywhere, Harold. Calm down. This is a memory. The day you created your password. The Neurodiver allows me to enter your memories and repair any damage. Ah, so this is... Ah, we're at work. <laughs> My desk? Yes. Almost a year ago to the day, it looks like. Harold, do you really only change your password once a year? Um, well, y you see... Uh... Never mind. Let's just get your password back. Okay, what do I have to do? You just relax. I'll be piloting your memory to try and see what's gone wrong. Uh, piloting? You're not actually in control right now. The Neurodiver lets me navigate the memory for you as part of the repair process. So I'm like a mech? What? You're the pilot, and you're piloting me like a mech. Um, in a way... Uh, oh... Ugh, gross! Forget I said anything. I hope I forget most of this when it's over. Oh, a Phantom Cleaner Misaki poster. What? Specifically the feature film PC Misaki. Do you remember Paradise? A true class. Are you familiar with the classic, acclaimed, long-running anime PC Misaki? Of course. And? And... Well, what do you think about it? I think Misaki's pretty cool with her lipstick baton. Lipstick baton? No, no, you're thinking of Devil Quest Inc. Easy mistake. Oh. Anyway, Misaki's assistant can vanquish a ghost in an instant with his divine palm! <laughs> the coolest. Uh, her assistant is kind of a creep. Creep? No, no, you have to look at it through the lens of the time. In the 50s, anime was... Harold, is any of what you're about to say going to help us figure out your password? Well, probably not. I think I still have my lucky ticket stub around here somewhere. Good to know. Let's take this poster as a clue, just in case. Candy. 
candy bowl. We meet again. I guess I'm not surprised this silly bowl has been around for more than one Halloween. Hmm. Harold really gets a kick out of this thing, and it's been here for a while. Maybe it's a clue? I'll hold on to it for now. But if it even tries to snap at me again... This plan isn't looking too good. Did he replace it recently? What? Uh, Drake? What? Like, uh, Mandrake? Huh? My plant! And no, I did not replace him! I eventually got into the swing of watering, sunbathing, and uh, singing to him regularly. Well, sounds like there's some significant history here. Maybe I'll add the plant to my clues. Oh, no, no need. What? Why not? Because I'd never use my plant's name for a password? Uh, oh. I'm already exhausted. More importantly, I don't think this is a clue. Near this clue is the what? weird ghost thing. <laughs> what is that? Mm hmm. One of your Halloween tricks, Harold? No way! That's. Too scary to be a trick. I'm kidding. Actually, it's memory damage. Damage? Hmm. Whatever's supposed to be here has been replaced by something from elsewhere in your subconscious. My subconscious? There's some scary stuff in there, huh? <laughs> hmm. No doubt. We call damage like this fragments in the Esperbiz. They're usually caused by severe trauma or a direct psychic attack. Attack? Relax. The Neurodiver is adept at fixing exactly this kind <laughs> So, uh, what do we do? We need to keep looking around this memory. We need to look at the things you looked at, think about them, and try to connect the dots. Some items will be clues that will allow us to repair the fragment. Okay, I'll follow. You don't really have a choice. <laughs> ah, there were three things. Ah, there's a drop. Look. <laughs> Another fragment. Oh, so I don't really have a giant pet spider. No, it's more memory damage. It's probably the pet spider you want to have in your subconscious. Well, that's a shame because spider in the drawer is a quality goof. The little guy scared you real good. Uh. If there are two fragments in this memory, whoever did this is seriously powerful. Good. Hmm. There have maybe there are more clues back on the deck. Mm -hmm. And the decal. Looks like Harold slapped a robot spider decal on the side of his console. The BZ-102 Metal Stringer, a programmable pet robot. It was a group by robotics kit. Hot swappable legs, several different personality patterns. Ah, <laughs> very expensive. You're really into this stuff, huh? Petite Circuit makes high quality stuff. The promo stickers aren't bad either. Oh. 
I really don't want to touch this thing, even if it is a fragment. Hopefully, I have the right clue to repair it. Yeah. Now, what else is hiding in this drawer? Hey, wait a minute! Frankie! Frankie? My pet spider! It's real? <laughs> no, it, it's not real. It's the BZ-102 metal stringer. All right. That explains the robot decal. I love my little Frankie. I often pull him out of the drawer when I'm feeling befuddled. Well, we are not out of the woods yet. You still don't know your password, do you? No, not yet. Then it's back to small space sleuthing. Let's hold on to little Frankie, just in case he's a clue to the other fragment. Ticket stub for the Phantom Cleaner Misaki movie. Do you remember Paradise? What? From October 31st, 2055, the day PC Misaki's story would come to an end. I keep this ticket with me as a lucky charm. That's what the device of the night. Seems important enough to add to our collection of clues. I've got a hunch things are beginning to fall into place. <laughs> Just a bunch of miscellaneous... Mm. And I thought I was messy. Sheesh! If I could piece together some clues, I could repair this fragment. <laughs> yes, my password. Frankie Phantom 55. Maybe you shouldn't say it out loud. Looks like it's been recovered, though. If everything's in order, I'll go ahead and end the dive now. You need to change his password. Yes, please do. Right. Here we go. Word recovered. Easy as pie. Oh, thanks so much. I thought I was a goner. Cat came back. I thought it was a goner, but the cat came back. No more money to buy Halloween decorations. No more office parties. I've been the Halloween party planner for the past five years, you know. That's cool. I'm glad I could help. So, did you find out what happened? It all came rushing back to me. The last tanks I cleaned were in Fortuna's office. Polishing the last one, and then I felt a shock. Or maybe it was a flash. It didn't hurt, but afterwards, I completely forgot what I was doing and went back to my desk. I wonder if the shock caused some sort of gap in your memory. How are you feeling now? I feel much better. Thank you, ES88. But... But what? How do you know you won't have to again? I promise you, if this ever happens again, I am on the case. Well, thanks. I have 
appreciate your nobility and courage. Y yeah, that's the job. Uh, <sighs> well, I'll just take the neurodiver now. Uh, uh, wait! What is it? Thank you for saving my life. Uh, it's no problem. It was just a small mission. If you ever want to trade manga with me sometime. Oh, uh... The Neurodiver is, uh, pretty heavy. Uh, I better get going. Ah, oh, well, right. Blurp. I do not want to hear your plant song. Yikes, that was awkward. Ugh, oh, don't worry about him. Did you find out what went wrong? Well, there were a couple fragments, nothing too intense, but... When we talked about what happened, he told me he felt a shock or something while cleaning the tanks in Fortuna's office. It's funny you say that. I received a message from Fortuna while you were in the dive. She has a mission she says only the neural diver can handle. She wants to see you in her office. Can we get gate first? Fortuna wants to give a mission in person? <laughs> Must be a special occasion. Yes, eh? Usually I'd have more information by now, but she didn't want to tell me anything until you spoke with her. You should head there right away. Should I go get Gate before I head upstairs? No. Fortuna was very clear. She only Sounds like a tarp. Wow, I guess this is very serious. Thanks, Trace. I'll talk to you later. Suerte. Suerte. with Trace in there. I heard Fortuna had something to talk to you about. You did? It's my job to know, sweetie. Oh, right. Fortuna's office is in that elevator up there, between the ginkgo trees. Right, thanks. I'm here to serve. Just take the elevator up there to get to Fortuna's office. I got it. Thanks. Play some more toll gates. Africa, June sixteenth, Neurodiver. Gate zero, September tenth. Blood type artificial. Welcome in. Please, ES eighty eight. Have a seat. Thank you.
How was your last mission? To be honest, I was hoping for a mission with a little more excitement. I know. I'm sorry to put you on such a boring task, but it had to be done. I don't mind it. I can learn something from every mission. <laughs> That's the mindset I love. I don't want to keep you long, so I'll get right to the point. There have been reports of a rogue esper of sorts. His name is Golden Butterfly, and he is not to be trusted. I is he dangerous? Possibly. But I want you to remember something, ES-88. At Minerva, it is our mission to protect the public from those seeking to cause harm. I would not send you into this mission if I didn't believe you could handle this. You really believe in me? Of course. Now, mm. there are a few things to be wary of. Golden has been known to hide in people's memories, essentially creating powerful fragments. How he picks his victims is unknown, but he's not picky. We're working on what his ulterior motive can be. How powerful are the fragments? Let's just say, I need you on this as soon as possible. Wow, thank you for believing in me, Fortuna. You make it easy by being a great esper, ES-88. I have to head to my next meeting. I'll have Trace track the location of the next victim of Golden. She'll give you the details when she has them. Thanks, Fortuna. No. Thank you, ES-88. Try to get some rest. Maybe have lunch. Will do. Hey, Gade. Sorry I took so long. I had a meeting with Fortuna. Oh. What was it about? A super serious mission about someone named Golden Butterfly. That does sound serious. What did they do? He's been known to cause fragments in people's memories. To do what exactly? We don't know yet. Trace is supposed to do some digging. There you two are. It's good over. I'll move over so you can sit across from us. As long as I get a seat. How did your meeting with Fortuna go? I just got a message from her. I'm excited to get started. Do you know where we're going next? Please. It's going to take me all night to track this person down. Ay, I swear, Fortuna thinks I'm a genius. That's because you are one. <laughs> Callate. So, do you have any plans tonight? Maybe with Gabe? Trace. We don't have anything planned currently. After work, I'm going to read in my room. And you, Luna? I might restart the Yukino series again. How many times have you seen this now? A couple times. It's getting late. You two should enjoy your day while you can. I think I'll buy some snacks and then work on getting you a lead. We appreciate you, Trace. Yeah, Trace. We appreciate you so much. Calmate, calmate. <laughs> I'll be in my lab. Nos vemos. Bye, Trace. Goodbye. <laughs> She's right about it getting late. Let me walk you to your door. Uh, okay.
So... Yes? I'm excited to finally leave Minerva's campus. I haven't been to Neo San Francisco in a while. Me neither. I can't wait to... Yeah. Me too. Ding. Well, this is me. Thanks for walking me back, Gate. I don't mind it. It's on my way home. So, I don't have much going on tonight. Did you want to hang out for a bit? Oh, uh... It's getting pretty late. I should get to bed. Good night, Gate. Sure, I understand. Good night. Smooth, Luna, smooth. Phew. Oh, that was close. Pete makes me so nervous. Uh, why can't I just let her in? Totally. Cozy novel about a boy dreaming up a mysterious girl who put a terrible curse on his town. Last time I saw you. <sighs> I mean, I have so many books that I own that I haven't started, including library books. Twenty thirty two October at Vintage Co. Fortuna was really serious in our meeting today. Uh, I wonder if I can really do this on my own. I guess time will tell. It's always so foggy. I'll take living in sun. Where's our Nurodova? Bloop! Every day is Halloween. Complete chapter one. Okay. Next episode. Our story begins with our hero, the great magical commander. Using the combined power of the four celestial bodies, she pierces through the souls of our enemies, vanquishing them back into the realm of the Dark Star Galaxy. Confident and steady, she flies at the speed of starlight, diverting disasters and cosmic calamities. The enemies are in position. The lighting is set. Which one will be her downfall? Her weakness exposed. Lights! Camera! Action! The golden hour has arrived. Magical! Face Commander Luna!
a Strange weird dream. Girl. It kind of felt like I was in an episode of Magical Commander. Uh, it felt uh, like someone was trying to speak to me. Uh, anyway, it was just a dream. Just thinking, do I finish here? Because we finished chapter one, it's a good sort of, you know. Good overview of what the game is as a promo thing, and then I can continue playing that one on my own time. I think I will. Um, because I need to get up and stretch my legs and stuff. Um, So yeah, um, that was um, Read Only Memories Neurodiver. We got two achievements, the, the prologue pilot story and chapter one. Um, looks like there are five or six chapters. Um, and yeah, thanks to ID at Xbox for the code for that one. Um, it is. It came out um, 16th of May, 2024. Developed by Midboss, published by Chorus Worldwide Games. And then, as I said, thank you to ID at Xbox. Um, I am definitely interested in finishing off this one. I'm a big fan of the previous game, despite the couple of really non-point-and-click friendly or Joe-friendly achievements. But they're, you know, some of the hardest. Um, you know, achievements on point and click games, so it's understandable. Um, yeah, I'll be back. What are we looking at? I'll be back. I'm gonna do Bank Holiday Monday during the day, um, finishing off uh, Assassin's Creed Mirage. We may start early like earlier around about like 2 p.m uk time just so that we can get um you know a good chunk done we're gonna finish off the the story basically that's the idea um and i'll be streaming at various times throughout the week Tuesday and Thursday, 8 p.m. on my usual streams. I think it's a Wednesday co-stream this week. And then I might do a Friday stream because, um, and I might put some day streams in to get some, I don't know, promos or something else, but I don't know. I do have to clean my flat. Not exactly the most exciting thing, but something that needs to get done because um, I'm then away for a week. So there'll be no streams from the 1st to the 8th of June. I am cat sitting. I'm looking forward to it. Um, so yeah. Uh, thank you everyone who's watched today. Appreciate it. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. And yeah, I'll be back later. Um, I've been Joe, otherwise known as Angel SK. Uh, ooh, I'm not locking my microphone. Um, and I wish you a great rest of your day.